Hi, my name is Angela and this is my story. I've always known about Jesus and God. Um, as a child, I went to church every Sunday, just about as a teenager, still going to church. As a young adult, maybe not so much. Um, but even though I had a relationship with God, that didn't stop me from doing things that I shouldn't have done that weren't Christian or God-like. And because of that, I found myself in a situation. In 2005, I was charged with wire fraud. Over the course of five years, I had stolen $192,000 from various employers. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. But most of all, and I know you guys are going to find this really strange, I was relieved because I had been living a lie. Um, that wasn't me. That wasn't a person I wanted to be, but I didn't know how to stop. And so I am so thankful to this day that God stepped in and took control because I was making a mess of my life. In December, On December 6, 2006, I entered my plea of guilty and I was sentenced to one year and one day in a federal prison. Once again, God showed me his mercy and his grace because they didn't haul me away as they could have that day, but they allowed me to surrender myself on February 11th. So on February 11th, 2006, I left behind my husband and four kids and started my sentence at Alderson Federal Prison in West Virginia. My youngest children were starting high school. I think they were in their second year high school. And I had a daughter who was pregnant with twins. Two days after surrendering myself at Alderson, my daughter went into premature labor and she lost her twins. But God knew that this day was going to happen. And he knew that I wasn't going to be there. And he surrounded my daughter with women in her life. My mom, my sisters, her mother-in-law, people who loved her and cared for her and were there to support her and hold her hand during this time that I could not be there and comfort her and let her know that everything would be okay. And I thank God for that. I was released in December 23rd, 2006. And January 6th, 2007, I started a new job. God, and only God. I had no idea where I was going to work, if I was going to be able to work. I was a felon. Who was going to trust me? Who was going to give me a job? But God and did what only he can do, and he opened doors that no one else can open. I've been at the same company for 13 years, and I've worked my way from a receptionist to the executive director through the grace of God, through his mercy. And I'll tell you, this is my story. And I have many stories. He's healed me. He's given me peace. But this is the hardest story to tell. There are still people in my life that don't even know about it. But I pray that my story, which is really God's story, touches someone and brings someone to trust in God. To say, I do, I will, I can. You won't regret it. It'll be the best decision you ever made.